You know, daily school attendance is a big deal for students, but here with more information on what tardies and early pickups might mean for your child's education and when it's okay to keep those kids home, Dr. Ashley Stevens with Cavill County Schools. Ashley, thanks for being here. Absolutely, thank you for having so, me. So, you know, you can't stress them enough how important attendance is. We've talked about attendance matters to student success, but remind families why it is that priority. That's your job to be in school is what I always Absolutely. tell my child. <laughs> Just like the rest of us have to show up and do, you know, do our jobs, that is what our yeah. kids are doing at that time. Um, and the simple fact is they can't learn if they're not there. We can have the best curriculum, we can have the most dedicated teachers, we can do all the things. Um, but if a student isn't there, they're, they're going to miss out on that. And when they come back, they're going to have some sort of reaction. Um, they're going to feel behind or they're going to have to work double or, you know, whatever's going to happen. Um, those are not pleasant feelings just like it's not pleasant when we've missed things or you have to plan ahead to be gone you yeah. know how much trouble that is um, in an occupation it's tough on our kids and so just getting them there prioritizing it making sure it is you know kind of a family routine and expectation that on school days we go to school mm -hmm. um, that is that is so important and so helpful so how do those missed minutes really add up to impacting that child we don't think about you know I just picked them up five minutes early right. or it was you know we just had this appointment and I didn't want to have to mess with the schedule and schedule it after three so right. we just you know just get get them half a day um, it adds up and so we have a cool graphic that I wanted to share with you guys even if it's just five minutes late it ends up being 20 lessons um, over the course of time it can equal days just 30 minutes every day we're missing 22 days um, if, if you all will remember our goal is 10 or less for sure mm -hmm. um, obviously the fewer the better and so just making sure that we remember that those little things matter and they also interrupt a student's day so a lot of our kids thrive a lot of our grown-ups too on routine and making sure that they're you know with their friends at the right times and they're in the routine this keeps them from having that interruption um, and feeling like they're having to catch up or that they've missed something and honestly I feel like you know that's not just an interruption for your child but your child walking to that classroom may be a little late from an appointment or not feeling well not being able to get out of bed the teachers affected and the other students. Absolutely. So certainly we need to make sure that, you know, students who aren't there are getting the assignments. Sure. Um, so do we pause the classroom right now and handle that? If so, everybody else is being delayed. Um, or do we keep teaching and then address it later, in which case a student is not really able to engage in the lesson because they weren't here for the beginning part of it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not great for anybody uh, when we have those interruptions. Okay, so we know that there are times the parents should not be sending their kids to school. There's definitely circumstances out there. Yes. We are coming up on flu, cold season, junk germ season, yes. so to speak. So how do you know when your child is sick enough to stay home versus when they should be fine to be in school. We have an extra option that's kind of nice this time that you don't have to feel like you always have to have a doctor's excuse. Okay. Um, we don't want families to be in a position where it's like, oh, I know you should not be going yeah. anywhere. We obviously have these types of symptoms, um, but I also don't need to take you to the to the clinic uh, sure. or, you know, wherever you need to go, uh, Med Express kind of place, just to be evaluated for this. Right. And so if they are having um, things that appear to be uh, symptoms that could be contagious, so we're looking at, you know, fluid and drainage, those types of things, not a lingering cough because I was sick a few days ago, or a runny nose or a sore throat, we're going to be experiencing several days of that, you right. know, consistently, all of us uh, in these coming months. So we put these, this together also as a graphic that might be useful to people. Um, certainly there are excuses absences these are from um, state code mm -hmm. uh, these are the ones that they accept I know not a lot of our kids are doing jury duty and military right. <laughs> um, but we put everything all those five-year-olds going <laughs> jury, jury duty at the courthouse next week but we also have if buses don't run you know if that's what you yes. if that's what you rely on um, illness injury those types of things um, and then the symptoms that we're looking for fever for sure you sure. know you need to make sure that uh, you keep them home for that vomiting and diarrhea um, anything persistent coughing or trouble breathing like if it's something that you know we're worried about the health and, and wellness of a child we need to make sure that we're you know acting appropriately to get them uh, the medical help that they need. But if it's, I'm feeling a little meh, or, you know, I've got some drainage because it's allergy season or it's cold and flu, then we're, we're all right. You can come to school. Okay, so how can a parent actually submit one of these absences that they don't need that doctor's note? Because I think that is something that some parents don't even realize. It is so nice. We're really yes. we're really excited about it. Um, certainly, if you have a doctor's note, get it to your school sure. office. Um, but on our website, if you go to cabellschools.com and you're under student, excuse me, families, and then our student support services, there's an attendance tab, and all the way at the bottom, you just click it and you fill out a form. My child is absent on this day because of this reason. I am, you know, 
know, this person to them, and it goes directly to your student school, and you don't have to worry about did your child, you know, show up with the note that you wrote? Um, was it submitted on time? And these need to be in within three days of their return. Okay. Easy enough. I feel like sending a school note online is something that has evolved tenfold like everything else <laughs> in this world. Never thought that we'd be there. Uh, Dr. Ashley Stevens talking about uh, school attendance. This is so much good information, and not just for Cabell County Schools, for every school district around here. Thank Absolutely. You, thank you so much. Thank you.